up everybody? So we're on the shop with another Shop Talk Tuesday and in this episode we are starting the sheath build process for the little mini EDC cleaver that we have right here. Now we're going to be focusing on this in a couple of episodes because we're going to be doing something a little bit different than what I typically do sheath wise. You've seen me make a kydex sheath, you've seen me make a leather sheath, but you've never seen me make a hybrid kydex leather sheath. You haven't seen me do that. This is going to be the first time that I actually try this out and a lot of this is going to be experimental so we're going to see how it goes, but we got to start this episode by making the actual kydex sheath part that we're going to be wrapping the leather around. So we got to start this process, get it going. We're going to go all the way up to the point to where we actually would put the eyelets on here. We're going to stop there and then we're going to start working on getting this formed around it because we're going to end up putting the eyelets and everything all together at one time and it's going to go through the leather, through everything and we're going to see how this goes. So that is the goal for this. We're going to go ahead, like I said, start the kydex part of this. See what we can get done today, and then it will flow into tomorrow and maybe the next day. I don't know just yet. We've only got a couple of hours out here in the shop tonight, so we're going to get done what we can get done and just kind of go from there. Let's go ahead and start this project. So one of the first things that we're going to do is go ahead and get our knife taped up. We just want to put a couple of layers of tape on the actual blade so that whenever we form the kydex around it, it actually has a little bit of a space between the blade and the kydex and we're not rubbing the finish up and down the kydex. Some people might say, well, if, you're, uh, if your blade was hard enough, the, the kydex shouldn't scratch your blade. Well, it can scratch the finish on your blade because a lot of these knives that have a super high polish, a lot of that is compound that is buffing those blades and everything like that. You know, you can remove that compound and put marks into it that way. There's a, a lot of different things that you can do to actually mess with the finish on your knife. So it's not just, hey, your blade wasn't hard enough and now that's the reason why your, uh, your knife has scratches in it. You know, if you have a particular finish on a blade, you can easily go through and scratch it and, you know, damage that finish. So we like to put a little bit of a space between the actual blade and the kydex so that we are not rubbing it every single time we put the blade in and out. So I'll go through and cut a lot of the excess off with just a pair of scissors and smash it down. The big thing that you're trying to make sure that's really smooth is where the little designs are on the blade so that stuff like that stands out but you're not trying to make it to where it is the prettiest thing in the world especially for something like this where it's going to be wrapped in leather so you're not going to see hardly any of the imperfections or anything like that in the kydex that doesn't mean you want to sacrifice you know quality just means you don't have to stress as much about it. All right. So we got our blade taped up, two layers on there. Now what we need to do, put our Kydex in our oven. We're going to put it in there for about 200 degrees, just long enough that it gets pliable. And then we're going to put it into our mold or press right here. This is actually a press that has holster and sheath foam on it. So this is designated foam like that's actually designed to be able to press sheaths and holsters and things like that. You want this stuff because it doesn't keep the last profile or the last form pressed into here. It goes back to normal. If you use things like a yoga mat or other foams, every single time you press into those, it keeps that form or that last sheath shape on there. This goes back to normal. It's the best thing to use for this. This is super cheap. You can get it from holstersmith.com and things like that. It comes in a one foot square. What I did was I just did six inches, 
So it's six inches by one foot. Got that one square, cut it in half. Got two one by sixes, put a hinge on it. As a matter of fact, I got a video for this actual press that I made, and I'm gonna leave that in the description below so you can go check it out if you wanna make something like this. But we gotta heat this up, get it pressed into here, go from there. Now we're gonna press the spawn all the way up into the crease of this taco that we're making here. And then we're gonna press down, firm. Tighten our clamps. Now we're gonna let it rest for about 10 to 15 minutes and call it good there. Then we'll pull it out and see what we got. All right, so let's see what we got here. You see our blade profile right there nicely where our kind of sharpening choil area is. The ricasso comes down right here. Our finger choil goes up into the handle there. See that profile nice and evenly on the other side as well. And that's what we're going for right there. Now, what we're going to end up doing next is kind of figuring out how we want our sheath to be laid out and then where we're going to want our leather sheath or a leather part added on to this. So we're gonna go ahead, get all this stuff out of the way, then start kind of drawing on here. So what we're gonna do first is kind of mark out where the actual blade is on here so that we know how to space everything away from that when it comes to where the eyelets are gonna be. So those guys right there. So that is our blade. We need to space the outside of the sheath to be no closer than about right there so that our eyelids have plenty of overhang for the sheath past where the edge of the eyelet is. So that right there should be about half an inch. Yep, half an inch right on the money. So I'm probably going to go just a hair outside that so that we have a good open area for our ulti clip. So about right there. And then I think what I'm going to do is kind of follow the, the design of the blade here. And... Do it like that. So do something around that. I might even bring that off to where it just kind of comes down, has an angle, comes back, and then it's going to end up coming up. Let's go about right here. Round it in. Come up where that finger choil is. And then rock it up where we're going to be putting our thumb ramp. So it's going to look something like that. And then what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to bring the leather and I'm going to wrap it around this area right here and have it fold over the other side. So it's gonna come up in this little area, tie it around where this little bump out is for the handle. And then of course it's gonna cover all the way to here, come all the way down, and all of this 
is going to have leather on top of it. Then we'll have the black sticking out and then the thumb ramp with black hardware and a black clip. So everything all ties together with just that punch of leather on there. So that is the goal. Right now what we need to do is go ahead and measure out where our eyelets are going to go so that we can then go ahead and drill them out and then cut this out and then go from there. Now a trick to this is making sure that you measure your eyelets to be one inch away from each other. And I might do an eyelet up here. As of right now, you can see I'm going to have these eyelets going through here. But I might actually center them up a little bit. Now that I'm thinking about it. Just like that. Now what I got to do is just split the difference here, which is going to be a quarter of an inch. All right. That's what we got right there. I'm going to do a little punch on the center of these. Go ahead and just do a pilot hole for that. Drill them out and then cut out the excess and then go from there. So now what I'm going to do is press this up onto the bit as opposed to drilling down. It's just what I prefer to do. So we're going to go all the way up to this little mark that I have right here. That's a quarter of an inch. That's exactly how wide it needs to be to be even with this right here. And we'll be good. So we've got all those drilled, the eyelet fits every single one of them. Now we can go ahead and cut out our outline and go from there. So, so far it fits 
perfect in here. Don't really need to modify the tension at all. Which typically I got to do a little bit, but this is going to be perfect, especially after I get the eyelets and everything in there. But that is exactly how I want it to be. But now I need to put the thumb ramp on the back here. We're just going to use a heat gun, heat it up, and press it forward. So, just like that, just a little bit of thumb ramp right there, just makes it a lot easier to pull it out. Okay, so now we've got our Kydex sheath made, and it's looking really cool. Now, if we just left it just as it is right now, it would be just fine. But I'm really excited about attaching the leather to it. Now, in the next episode, so tomorrow's episode, we're going to focus on the actual leather side of this and figure out how the heck we're going to attach it to it, how we're going to profile it, template it, all that stuff. We're going to do all of that in that episode and then get it attached to it and see how far we get. But hopefully y'all are digging this and think that the whole leather wrap Kydex is going to be pretty cool. If you do, let me know in the comment section down below. Guys, thank you all for being a part of the daily vlogs and thank you all for enjoying these and watching them. I really appreciate it. Guys, if y'all would, give this video a thumbs up. Share this video or one of my other videos. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Y'all have an amazing day. Y'all stay safe out there and I will see y'all tomorrow. Mm -hmm.